More than 8 million people across the country received the £300 autumn cost of living payment automatically from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, or HM Revenue and Customs HMRC, between October 31 and November 19, 2023. The much-needed extra cash is the second part of the £900 cost-of-living financial package from the UK government designed to help people on a low-income claiming means-tested benefits. The third payment is worth £299 and will be made to those on eligible benefits including universal credit, pension credit, tax credits, income support, income-based job seekers allowance and income-based employment and support allowance, before next spring. However, this looks to be the last of the cost of living payments as Chancellor Jeremy Hunt made no reference to further support in 2024-25 during the recent autumn statement. Earlier this week, DWP Minister for Social Mobility, Youth, and Progression, Mims Davis MP also indicated there would be no more cost-of-living payments. Labour MP, Sir George Howarth, asked the DWP whether it plans to extend cost-of-living payments beyond the spring. In a written response, Ms Davis said, there are currently no plans to extend the cost-of-living payments beyond the spring cost of living payments enabled us to target further support during the rising cost of living pressures. Delivering lump sum payments got support faster to those who needed it, reflecting our commitment to providing direct and timely relief to those who need it most. The DWP minister went on to explain how the rate of inflation has slowed, and that the DWP has been able to implement upgrading to other benefits in the meantime to reflect increased costs. She highlighted how state pension and benefits increased by 10.1% in April 2023 in line with the September 2022 inflation rate. Ms Davis added, the Secretary of State, Mel Stride MP, has completed his annual statutory review of pensions and benefits and his decisions were announced to Parliament on 22nd of November. From April 2024, universal credit amounts will be uprated by 6.7%. In a separate question, Sir George also urged the DWP to amend current cost of living payment eligibility criteria to include people receiving housing benefit and council tax reduction. In another written response, Ms Davis said, there are currently no plans to amend eligibility criteria for cost of living payments. Housing benefit is not an income replacement benefit, it is intended to cover only housing costs. Therefore, housing benefit is not a qualifying means-tested benefit for the cost of living payment. However, she added, those with the lowest incomes may also be in receipt of a qualifying means-tested benefit alongside housing benefit to cover their other living costs, which could make them eligible for a cost-of-living payment. Ms Davis also clarified that eligibility for a council tax reduction is determined by local councils and is not a national policy. She continued. The eligibility for this support is dependent on a number of factors including where you live and your household income. Low-income households may also be in receipt of a qualifying, income-related means-tested benefit alongside council tax reduction, which could make them eligible for a cost-of-living payment. The DWP minister urged anyone struggling with finances to check for unclaimed benefits or discounts using one of the independent, free and anonymous calculators available on the Gov. UK website here, Labour MP and Chair of the Work and Pensions Committee, Sir Stephen Timms, also asked the DWP what the value of the Household Support Fund will be in 2024-25? 
Responding, Ms Davis said, the government has provided over £2 billion in funding for the Household Support Fund since October 2021. The current Household Support Fund runs from April 2023 until the end of March 2024. No further decisions have been taken on the Household Support Fund, and the government continues to keep all its existing programs under review in the usual way. Get the latest record money news Join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.